Alright, hello everyone and welcome to Marvel Man's Game Room. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the DC Direct, Batman Arkham Asylum, Victor Zaz, and Poison Ivy figures. So let's take a look at Victor Zaz first. <laughs> I love the manic face he has. It's just crazed. Ah! Anyway, <clears throat> so Victor is fantastic. This is a great figure. Now, he doesn't have a whole lot of articulation, kind of like the Scarecrow and the Bane. Because he's in that kneeling position, or that crouching position, and it kind of limits what he, what they did with him. So he has no articulation at the knees or the elbows. He does have rotation at the bicep. He can move his shoulders up and down and all the way around. He also has these metal chains from his shackles. He comes with two long knives, which are really nice. And I believe his head can move slightly. And he does swivel at the waist a little bit. Now, let's take a look at the detail on him because it's pretty interesting. So, we have his four main scars from his victims on his forehead. Now, these are done in a brown, which is pretty cool. Um, does kind of clash with his tattoos, though. Because his tattoos are the exact same color brown, which is probably why they didn't color in the other scars. Now, with the other scars, they are indented into the figure, so you can see them and feel them, but they don't pop like in the game. So you can't really tell that he has many scars, especially like on his back area and his arms. His legs you kind of can, and his chest you definitely can. So, like, you see all the scars from all the tally marks he put on his chest. <clears throat> and he's got the yellow, or the orange prisoner, Arkham prisoner suit. Man, I am just having focus problems. Okay. And like I said, all the, you know, loose chains, which are on both of his wrist shackles are metal which is a really nice detail i like all right so let's put zaz down and let's look at pamela isley or poison ivy now she is really nice i wish they did a little more um different colored greens in her skin like the leaves you can see, and you can see the vines, but the vines should be like a, I would say more of a limish green for that. Oh, that beautiful figure. I love the, yeah, like right here. That color, maybe. Maybe a little, a little brighter than that. I like that they have the Arkham jacket on with the Arkham Asylum logo. She only moves her um, shoulders and elbows. We got a single joint for the elbows and the shoulders are, on, you know, are movable. She has no articulation in the knees, barely any in the legs, and her head can rotate all the way around. Well, maybe not all the way around. Yeah, because the, uh, the collar kind of stops her chin. But the mold looks fantastic. I love the waviness of her hair. That was really prominent in the game. So it, so it kind of flowed behind her. Looks really nice. Very beautiful figures. I love these, I love these DC Direct figures. Because they're simplistic in the articulation. But the detail is very nice. So it doesn't look exactly like the game. Like it's not perfect. But it's pretty dang close. So, with that, if you like this, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll catch you on next time on Marvel Man's Game Room. Peace out!